So do we really know fragrances? Do we really understand them? Do we understand different olfactory families, scent families, notes, what to pick, you know, when it comes to a fragrance that works for us and others? I can help you sort of wrap your head around fragrances, olfactory families, notes, and what works best for you. So if you want to find out a little bit more about fragrances, stick around. Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another fabulous educational fragrance video. Today's video is a little bit different from what I normally do. Actually, I always try to include an educational aspect in my videos. I don't just show you guys a bunch of fragrances and say that you should have them. I try to help you understand what works well for you, how to understand what works well for you, and try to kind of give you an idea of fragrance notes, how they work, what smells good with what. I always do that in my videos. If you haven't noticed, that's how my fragrance videos are different from others. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the educational aspect and help you out in trying to understand perfumes, really. If you are a fragrance enthusiast like me, you would want to kind of know a little bit more about what they are and how they work, right? Now, I'm in no way a perfumer or a super expert, but I, I know my fragrances. I know my fragrances. In fact, you guys, recently, he, my husband actually booked and took me to a fragrance mixing experience you know it was a fragrance uh, kind of like a class but not really it's like a you know it was an experience where you can go make your own fragrances and i absolutely enjoyed that experience during the class i think the person teaching about fragrances i don't think she liked me very much because First of all, she started out asking questions and I had answers to all of them. And then I started kind of asking things and clarifying things and I tried not to interrupt her, you know, her program. But uh, there were moments where I, you know, gave all the answers and even though she asked the questions, I don't think she wanted to, to hear all the answers to the ex extent that I did provide it. But I very much enjoyed that experience. We had a blast, my husband and I. I'll try to include a clip here from, from it. I created two fragrances, both of which came out amazing. And my husband actually made two men's fragrances that I thought smelled absolutely fabulous. Very, very, um, masculine and sexy and mine I will say I'm obviously very influenced by two of my top favorites but they came out different yet inspired by I mean obviously subconsciously I wasn't thinking that like really but when I when I was done mixing that's obviously what I love but anyway now to the business of kind of trying to wrap our heads around fragrances trying to understand what they are. Fragrance wheel was invented or created by Michael Edwards I think in 1984 to help other perfumers like himself. He was a um, perfumer and a taxonomist um, so he wanted to help other perfumers you know create fragrances you know to kind of like create this as a guide okay so we can use that as a guide in selecting fragrances First release in 1992, I believe. It's this circle, you know, I will put a image of it up here. It's this circular uh, sort of um, chart that helps you understand the four main olfactory families and subfamilies of those main four olfactory families 
and how they work with each other. So we have four fragrance families. There's the floral fragrance family, there's oriental fragrance family, there's fresh fragrance family, and there is the woody fragrance family. In these main categories, there are subcategories. For example, florals have four subcategories. There's floral, soft floral, floral oriental, and soft oriental. What are fragrance families? They are scent groups that closely, you know, relate to each other. You know, fa fragrance, like scents that smell like each other grouped into four categories. Like I said, there is floral, there's woody, there's fresh, and lastly, oriental and or also known as amber. And under these four main categories, there are subcategories. We'll get to that here in a second. I don't want to get too much into the weeds in the, this video. I want to just give you like a, um, like an overall, you know, kind of at a glance understanding of these. I don't want to, you know, want it to be boring. I want you to just get an understanding enough to select your fragrances. So let's talk about each of these subcategories. You know, you know what floral perfumes are? Perfumes that smell floral, like flowers. Now, if you talk about the four subcategories under the floral family, let's take the first one, fruity. Actually, it falls under floral category. Fruity notes tend to be very like mouth-watering. Like when you smell them, your mouth starts to salivate. Because it's like your brain kind of perceives it as you're actually smelling fruit. So your mouth starts to kind of, you know, salivate uh, getting ready to digest the fruit that it thinks coming its way you know into the mouth a lot of these fr fruity notes tend to be mostly tropical kind of fruity notes you know there's pineapple mango there's other ones like peach juicy ones especially juicy ones like plum or blackcurrant these are all tend to be very 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 juicy and mouth-watering. Now the common fruity note that you see in a lot of perfumes tends to be peach. Even though you have all these other fruity notes, peach is really the one that is kind of quite common. If you think about it, a lot of perfumes have peach. So if you're someone who's not a fan of peach, you know, you might run into it more often than you think. Now, under the big floral category, there's the subcategory that's also floral. So doubling down on the, the main category, floral, there's the subcategory that's floral too. It's essentially super flower notes. They, they smell like bouquets of flowers, like jasmine, right? Uh, gardenia, orange blossom, rose, name it all these beautiful florals the most common floral note that's used in a lot of fragrances anyone want to take a guess my favorite floral note of all time rose rose is the most romantic smelling floral ever guys a lot of fragrances even if you know those fragrances have many many other florals there's always a rose note in a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of the fragrances, whether it's dominant or not dominant, right? There's always like a little hint of rose in a lot of the fragrances. Like look at the compositions. You'll run into rose more often than not. Now then there are soft florals, which is also under the big category of floral scents. A soft floral is something that is a little bit soft. It's not as strong of a floral note. It's kind of soft and a little bit musky sometimes. So it has a very softer floral musky kind of scent. It's not, not dominantly super, super floral, but like a little bit like floral, almost musky. Now the dominant floral in this subcategory of floral fragrance family is jasmine. If you think about it, the second most used flower that I see used in a ton of fragrance compositions after rose, which is the number one most used fragrance floral note, 
The second most used I see is Jasmine. You get Jasmine in a lot of conversations, no matter what the dominant accord is. If there's there are florals, one of those tend to be more likely than not Jasmine, just like Rose. And then you have floral oriental subcategory under florals. Now those are the flower notes or floral notes with a little bit of a hint of a spice, giving that oriental kind of vibe. So those are floral oriental kind of notes. They kind of tend to leave you with this smooth and almost stylish kind of feel, scent. It's a little reminiscent of incense. The most common one under this category is orange blossom. Now, one of the floral fragrances that is super floral that I have in my hands here is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Jasmine. This is a super, super floral fragrance. Mm -hmm. This would fall under a soft floral subcategory of the floral fragrance family. You get what I mean. I mean, I could list a bunch of fragrances down in the description box that fall under these different categories if you want to kind of know some examples of what fragrances fit into these fragrance families and subcategories under the big fragrance families. So that was the floral fragrance family. Now let's talk about one of my favorite fragrance families, Oriental or Amber. That's another name for Oriental fragrance category, Amber fragrance family. Now these tend to be some of the most strong fragrances with this type of, uh, that belong to this fragrance family. You can recognize these from their rich smell. They smell kind of heady and created with spices. Uh, a lot of the times they tend to have a little bit of incense vibe, super rich fragrances that invoke kind of sense of the Orient, the Far East. Fragrances in this category um, are created with, you know, spices, resins, herbs to give like this sort of opulent, rich kind of experience. They're often described as very seductive and exotic. If you've heard in my descriptions in a lot of videos when I'm talking about oriental fragrances, you will hear me using the word exotic. Really, there's no other way to describe them. They, they give you this sort of like Far East vibes, very exotic, very mysterious, very sexy, very smoky, very, mm, you know, just, I don't know how else to put it. So there are three fragrance subcategories under the oriental fragrance family. So first one is a soft oriental fragrance, which is a fragrance that has a very soft oriental feel, obviously. They usually have floral notes blended with warm spices or soft spices, and sometimes with a little bit of incense vibe that resemble oriental uh, sense of the Orient. Now a commonly used note in this fragrance family I would say is anise. I would say nutmeg is another one and then there's the oriental, oriental which is a subcategory of the oriental main category so it's doubling down on the oriental vibe. So under this category you get notes like vanilla, cinnamon, you know super oriental to kind of give like this musk-like effect. These oriental oriental ones under the oriental family, the oriental subcategory, they tend to have like amber, you know, vanilla or cinnamon type of warm spices, you know, clove type of warm spices. That's what the oriental category is. I forgot to give you a commonly note, used note in oriental fragrances, which is vanilla. So then there is woody oriental. These are sweet and spicy notes blended with woody notes like sandalwood and patchouli, which is an earthy note. Those are the woody oriental fragrances. They still give that oriental vibe, like sense of the Far East, but with a woody core. A commonly used note in the woody oriental fragrances is myrrh. I get a lot of like woody orientals with myrrh. I think have that like sort of resiny, incense vibe. So those are the subcategories of the oriental family. And here is a perfect example of an oriental fragrance. This one is 
Christian Louboutin Luby Prince. This is a fragrance that is a true and true and true oriental fragrance, by the way. I'm smelling this now and I cannot wait for fall to come around to wear this fragrance. These oriental fragrances, you guys, usually are good for, better for cold weather. Whereas normally the floral olfactory family I talked about first, they tend to be more warm red the fragrances, but there are plenty of floral fragrances that are really strong. You can only wear in cold weather. For example, here's a good one. It's actually a woody floral. Bond number nine, Chinatown, is an example of a cold weather floral. Okay, now we actually come to the woody fragrance family. This is a fragrance family that's popular with a lot of people. People love woody fragrances, you know. Um, actually, there are people who love each of these fragrance families quite a lot. You could probably divide up all us fragrance enthusiasts in equally into these four main olfactory families, I would say, because I know people who are crazy about each of these categories. Now, woody fragrances tend to be warm. They're usually identified by that warm, kind of cozy feel. Woody fragrances give this sort of cozy, warm, fuzzy blanket vibes, okay? That's why I think a lot of us love them. Woody fragrances work in any type of weather, really. I mean, I know woody fragrances that are perfect in warm weather, woody fragrances that are perfect in cold weather. They really go all year round, you know? Woody uh, notes also keep fragrances from going too bitter if they have other notes that could lead the fragrance in more of a bitter direction. Woody fragrances can smell incensey and opulent too, but they're different from oriental fragrances because the woody fragrances rely on uh, fresh notes to be blended with as opposed to the oriental fragrances that use spices to blend with. So then there are subcategories under woody fragrance family as well. There are the mossy woods. They tend to be the most mild woody scents. You know what moss is, right? Moss is something that smell a little bit earthy. So these fragrances tend to be slightly earthy but very softly. They tend to be a little bit kind of oriental with sweetness almost. So they're very mildly woody because they have only a slightly, slight bit of uh, woodiness. And in my opinion, mossy tend to also be kind of sultry in a way because that earthiness, it's almost uh, smells kind of herbally in a very sultry way. Oh, uh, one of the most commonly used mossy woody uh, notes is vetiver and natural moss. And then of course woods is a woody. Woods is a subcategory of the main woody uh, olfactory family. So doubling down on the woodiness here, these are the strongest woody fragrances. It's like woody woody. And they tend to be woody fragrances like cedar wood. Yeah, sometimes even oak, you know, like very strong woody notes. Uh, one of the most popular ones lately that, oh, oud, don't forget oud, uh, that people have been using is akigala wood, okay? Uh, it has become one of the very uh, popular fragrance notes. Akigala wood tends to have a bit of like a pepperiness about it. It's kind of almost spicy. So yeah, these are like the woody, woody, woody fragrances. Commonly used woody, woody, like woody subcategory of the woody oriental family notes is patchouli. Patchouli is used in a ton of fragrances, whether it's prominent or not. Patchouli is very, very a common, it's a very common note. I know some people aren't a fan of patchouli, but I'm telling you, patchouli really enhances gourmet notes, um, other notes, it's kind of like something, kind of like salt, right? We know when you're cooking, salt brings out flavors of other ingredients. Patchouli is the same, in my opinion. Now then there are dry woods, like dry woody fragrances, which is a subcategory of the woody fragrance family. They usually mix smoky notes with leather, those type of sultry kind of woody fragrances that then you know what I'm talking about. A good one, an example would be Christian Louboutin's Luby Raj is, is one example. They tend to be very smoldering, sexy. By the way, the most commonly used dry woods uh, note is sandalwood. You, if you think about it, sandalwood is in a lot of fragrances as a woody note. A lot of fragrances. It's like a 
the go-to woody notes, <laughs> you know, of a lot of fragrances. Here's a good example of a woody fragrance. This is Piano Santo. Uh, this is a kind of sandalwoody, very woody smelling, very cozy smelling fragrance, really perfect for cold weather. And lastly, we have the fresh fragrance family. This is a favorite category of some people. They, like a lot of people, love to just smell fresh and nothing else. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. And these fragrances tend to be mostly suitable for warm weather. Uh, oh, by the way, woody fragrances, like I said, go all year round, but there are like really, really woody ones that only work in like cold weather. Anyway, fresh fragrances tend to mostly work in warm weather, but there are, it's not unheard of to have fresh fragrances that work in cold weather as well. Fresh fragrances are often clean and bright and makes you feel happy and clean you know feels like you just took a shower it keeps you feeling fresh all day which is really like a, a big part of fragrance is to keep you feeling fresh and clean right um but that never substitutes personal hygiene you guys you can spray on fragrances all day long if you don't shower if you don't take care of yourself nothing's gonna make you smell good okay assuming or given that you take good care of yourself your you have personal hygiene good personal hygiene then yeah fresh fragrances can make you feel clean all day fresh fragrances come in different types there's floral fresh aquatic fresh ozonic fresh you know uh, herbal fresh citrus fresh i mean all kinds of fresh fragrances so there are usually like notes bring notes of like herbal herbs citruses fresh florals and notes of like ocean combining that those are what creates fresh fragrances so there is the aromatic fresh fragrances these tend to be very aromatic as in like they smell strongly usually they combine aromatic fresh notes a lot of the times they could be like herbal fresh notes they usually tend to uh, combine herbal notes with floral notes and woody notes one of the examples of very aromatic notes would be lavender right that would be one and in this category the aromatic fresh category one of the most commonly used notes is sage um, lavender i've seen used quite a bit too so the next subcategory of fresh family is citrus fresh these are all the citruses bergamot lemon lime mandarin orange bitter orange tangerine grapefruit um, all these kinds of uh, citrus family notes they tend to be zesty and tangy with a very fresh feel very refreshing feel the most commonly used um, citrus notes I would say are bergamot and grapefruit tend to be very commonly used in this uh, subcategory of the fresh family which is citrus then you have the next subcategory of fresh fragrances which is watery fresh water fresh these are aquatic ozonic marine kind of notes they have like the sea spray oceanic notes like watery notes that make fragrances really fresh a very commonly used note in this category is obviously water watery notes lastly we have the subcategory green fresh now these are fragrances that have like a green freshness like from leaves and such for example cassis is a green note that's used to give that green fresh vibe in fragrances right so we get a lot of these sort of greeny feeling notes that really actually can make uh, fragrances smell absolutely amazing usually find you find these notes in the top notes and I have a fragrance here in this fat category that I think is a really good example for fresh fragrance this is Chanel or fresh uh, this is a very citrusy fresh fragrance with a lot of other kind of fresh notes in it that's a good one so now that we've talked about the main four olfactory families you know scent families and sub families or subcategories let's talk about how to choose a fragrance using the fragrance wheel now this fragrance wheel that i'm putting right here on the screen on this fragrance wheel as you can see they are grouped by the olfactory families 
and what you do is there are three techniques that you can use to pick your fragrances so there's the first technique which is the neighbor fragrance technique which means you can you know it's recommended that you pick your favorite fragrance family and the sub family or subcategory of it and you look at either side of it let's say you love floral fragrances right so the floral family and you like soft floral fragrances or notes so you select that and you look at and and, and these soft floral notes tend to be kind of like aldehydes powdery notes um, kind of musky soft florals so you look at either side of that uh, subcategory you see floral and then you see floral oriental so you take fragrances with aldehydes and powdery notes and then you see other see if the fragrance have these other notes like orange blossom you know sweet spices um, floral like fresh cut flowers you know like rose you know you so you pick a fragrance with rose and aldehydes and orange blossoms and sweet spices blended together so you pick a fragrance that that is that, that combines those you know three subcategories floral soft floral and floral oriental so that's one of the the techniques which is the neighbor fragrance technique and then you have the opposite fragrance technique this is when you pick your favorite fragrance family and a subcategory or subfamily within it and then you look at the opposite side of it directly across it opposite of it and you pick notes from that opposite of your favorite fragrance subfamily for example let's say that you picked fruity fragrance from the floral category um, right so you you look at fruity fragrances and you get you know things like you know berries and fruits like you have the tropical fruity notes like mangoes and pineapples and uh, you know berries like strawberries and blueberries and name it and then you'd look directly across from it which is where you get the woody notes then you have like these aromatic woods like the the woody woody family is what's directly ac across it but you see that the woody of the woody <laughs> which is kind of hard to say the woody subcategory of the woody main category uh, such as things like aromatic woods like you know things like vetiver so then you take fruity fragrances fruity notes you you pick a fragrance that has fruity notes and woody notes together blended together another example would be you look at uh, the woody fragrance family and you choose the woody oriental subcategory and you look directly across the wheel and you see green a subcategory of the fresh family right fresh fragrance family so you want to look for a fragrance that has woody notes and green notes blended together you know like say you love woody oriental notes like sandalwood patchouli and then you look across and you see green from the fresh family and you have things like galbanum and other green notes like cassis and um, you know such so you find a fragrance ha that has sandalwood patchouli mixed with other green notes like cassis and you know galbanum and name it all the green notes so that's technique number two then there is the last technique that you can use to um, pick fragrances from the color wheel is the triangle fragrance technique which is uh, choosing three fragrance subfamilies that form kind of a triangle on the wheel as you can see these will um, each complement the other for example if floral oriental was your favorite fragrance subfamily you could find a fragrance that also contains water notes and woody notes so you get the idea what i mean right so that's like yeah so that's how you use the fragrance wheel to pick fragrances now that we talked about how to use a fragrance wheel the fragrance families subcategories how to use the fragrance wheel to pick a fragrance Let's talk about notes, you know, top notes, 
middle notes and bass notes or top, middle, bottom or in another way opening notes, hard notes and bass notes. Let's talk about those. So what are top notes? These are notes that you smell when you first spray a fragrance. Immediately as you spray it on your skin or your clothes, these are what you smell. Remember, these top notes don't usually last very long. They evaporate, they dissipate, they disappear quite soon. I would say the longest um, top notes last is about an hour, but mostly within minutes, they kind of die down and give away to middle notes. Middle notes start to come through, right? Now, top notes tend to be notes like fresh light notes. You know, citrus notes, um, green notes, um, these type of sort of notes that don't linger too long tend to be top notes. Notes like bergamot, mandarin orange, cassis for a green note for example. These are like the top notes usually. And you also sometimes get soft spices like, um, what do you call it, um, pink pepper. And then you get the middle notes. These usually start to appear when the top notes start to give away or die down. This is the heart of a fragrance. They usually last to the throughout the life of the fragrance normally. Some middle notes start to die down a bit, but a lot of them last throughout the fragrance's life to the dry down. They are the body of the fragrance and they last a lot, lot longer than opening notes. These tend to usually be floral notes like, you know, like rose, jasmine, that type of floral notes, fruity notes, um, sometimes gourmet notes. And what are base notes? These are notes that the fragrance leaves you with. When the fragrance dries down, the, the, you know, the top notes disappear, the middle notes kind of start to settle down and then you start to smell the base notes which are the notes you're going to remember the most, the smell the most, because they last the longest. They are the most long lasting notes and those are the notes that you remember the most about a fragrance, whereas top notes is your first impression of a fragrance. Middle notes is like most of the duration, the substance of the fragrance, but what you really are left with most of the time are base notes. These notes can tend to react differently on different people's skin. So this is like the biggest thing you should remember. Base notes are what you need to watch out for. If you like, let's say don't like patchouli, patchouli tends to be mostly in the base and these tend to kind of react differently on different people's skin. And I assume this is one of the reasons why pe some people don't like patchouli because you know, these base notes like patchouli, they tend to react differently on different skins, different skin chemistries. So if patchouli doesn't smell good on your skin, you're probably gonna more likely than not hate patchouli, right? So yeah, watch out for those base notes because that's very important. You got to love the base notes because that's what you're left with most of the time. And base notes tend to be mostly woody notes, amber, vanilla kind of gourmet notes, um, like heavier notes like heavier gourmet notes like chocolate, vanilla, caramel, uh, that sort of like toffee, those sort of notes. So you guys, that is it, uh, like a top level kind of understanding of fragrances, olfactory families, notes. I didn't dive deeper in this video because I don't want this to get too boring. I don't want to get too much into the weeds. There's so much more I can geek out about fragrances here all day. There are people who tried to call me um, fragrance professor as, a, as an insult. I think they were trying to intend it, but that is the biggest compliment ever, you guys. I love to learn uh, about things. I love to educate myself and I love to shed light upon things for others. It's kind of what I love. It's a huge compliment and <laughs> I love being the fragrance professor. Anyway, by any means, I'm not the biggest expert in fragrances. I am just a very big 
fragrance enthusiast who knows a thing or two about fragrances so yeah yeah I don't want to just be somebody who just shows you a fragrance and asks you to buy it okay um, that's just not me I am a true fragrance enthusiast I enjoy wearing them I like to learn about them I like to know what I'm wearing I know I want to know how they smell and why they smell like it and what to blend and what smells best when blended yeah I need to know all that and I want you to know all that I will maybe make a different video going deeper into these sort of topics let me know down in the comment section what topic do you want me to dive deep into if there's any kind of category you want me to go deep into you know do an in-depth video on uh, it could be fragrance notes it could be anything Chime down in the comment section, you guys. I will be happy to do that. In my several years of five, six years of fragrance journey, I have learned quite a bit and I think I know my fragrances. So yeah, let me know. I would love to oblige. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, which really helps me grow my channel. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you guys in my next video.